Okay, today we are gonna do some negative space acrylic work, but I want this a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take my clear acrylic, I'm gonna lay it just on the tip because I'm just gonna extend a thin base out so that we can put our design on top of it. So not much, if anything, the same thickness as the nail. Not really thicker then. Let's pull it to maybe a stiletto. That could be really fun for this look. So I'm just using the body of my brush, meaning right in here in zone two is what I like to call it. I'll refer to this as zone one, zone two, zone three. But I'm using zone two or the body of my brush to really push that acrylic where I need it. And I'm focusing on a really nice transition with zone one of my brush so that it's nice and smooth for when I'm laying down my, my art. So I'm gonna tuck that out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add and shape a little. So maybe we'll just go like a long almond. It's hard to see. You can kind of see it in that angle. I'm gonna let it set up for a second while I pick out my colors. Okay, so for this, I'm actually gonna use some custom mixed acrylics, which is a combo of different colors and pigments that I put together. So you kind of want them to be a little bit dry when you put it down. So I picked up my ball, flipped it, and I'm letting it drop a little. And I'm actually just kind of free designing. I don't have a specific plan in mind, aside from I want it geometric, and I want some negative space in there. We've been doing a lot of negative space with gel and acrylic needs a minute. So I'm gonna do a circle. I'm gonna come in with some coral next to it. And I want it really, ooh, dropped it, really dry. Cause I'm actually gonna pull it right next to it. Kind of in that abstract, you know everybody's been doing abstract brush marks. I'm gonna create that with my acrylic and the point or trick of abstract is to be imperfect. So that's gonna feel awkward for most. So let the brush stroke pull. I'm gonna bring in some turquoise because I love these colors together. And I'm gonna let, I really want this dry because I'm gonna let this be an overlapping. It'll look like a circle right now. It's a ball because we're gonna file it down in a sec. You can always take zone one of your brush or the tip of your brush. And as it's dry, tuck it up in there. So I'm tucking it up so it's a nice circle. Making sure I wipe off my brush a lot so I don't mess up color like potency. So that's kind of fun. Let's take a tinier bit. Let's take a tinier bit of the pink, the hot pink, and brush stroke this bad boy. So cute. I'm gonna need a little bit of blue up top. Ooh, maybe we'll, I don't know how this will hold, if it'll file off or not. Hmm, I'm not gonna like that, hold on. Wiping it off, it's okay. You can change your mind, it's allowed. Um, how about a smaller ball of pink there at the bottom, so it'll be a circle. And I mostly am playing with it till it's no longer wet, because if I leave it too wet, See, it's gonna slowly lose its shape. So almost like to that matte, where your acrylic gets to like a matte stage. Let's see, what else do we need here, guys? A little bit of blue right there. And I'm not trying to fill in everything. You know what I'll do with this blue? Let's make it like rectangular. Let's make it sharper. And kind of falling off the edge here. So, I want it to get to that matte stage. So I'm gonna tuck it, I'm gonna turn, and tuck it, kinda cute. What do we need more of? Coral, maybe another there. I'm even fine if you need a baby ball, lay it down and then pick it up, you'll be more contained. It's tiny, but let's do some tiny, shall we? 
lay it down, and as I go to pick it up, it kind of rolls itself into a little ball. Function accordingly. If you have a smaller brush that's not picking up as much liquid as I am, you probably don't need to leave it down as long as I do. I just like things to easily work between each other, so... It needs to be less wet. Guys, this is cute. Okay, this needs to cure for a minute. You know what might be great? I think we need some white acrylic in there. Just to give it the contrast I'm looking for in just baby balls. I probably can pick up a couple here. Yeah. Couple little white balls. And now we're going to let it cure for just a second. Now that that's had a second to cure, I'm going to take my clear acrylic and I'm going to cap all of this. And I want to work it kind of wet so that it flows in between all those grooves of what we've created and gives me some good shape. I'm gonna build an apex for a straight zone. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm actually gonna tip the nail slightly down. I'm gonna get a rather large ball of acrylic, place it at the cuticle to work it in between all that and let gravity start to pull it down and fill in, and I'm just walking on top of it, fill in those grooves. Now I'm pinching it towards me, I'm not even really wiping. When I wipe that, see there's not much on my brush. I'm just more or less pulling it over the nail. Let it get to that matte kind of stage where I can then work with it and use the body of my brush or zone two like we talked about make sure that shape is mostly where I want it. I am obviously gonna be doing some top filing a little bit. I don't always do top filing, but since I know I am, I'm not gonna to worry too much. I'm gonna wipe my brush off really clean, squeegee it on the paper towel, dip and roll to keep its shape, and let that cure. Negative space, you can see underneath it a little. See my nail? So cool, brush stroke. 